I have always wanted to build a vertical strawberry tower and I think today is finally the day that we're gonna do that with what I have inside this box. I have been growing in green stocks now for about two years and right here I actually have the seven tier leaf which actually has soft nut garlic growing in it. So that's a little fun experiment on the side. But today, like I said, we're actually going to be growing strawberries. And it's really the main reason I actually got a green stock in the beginning is because I saw other people growing strawberries in them and I was so amazed. And now we're gonna do it. So this is actually the exclusive color that's for Epic Gardening. It's called Oasis. And I have the five tier with the bigger pockets here. So I'm gonna set this aside. We'll grab some soil, talk about how to fill this and how to plant bare root strawberries. Some fertilizer and a little bit of worm castings and now we've got everything we need to fill the grain stock. Now when you're filling a grain stock there are some soils that you shouldn't use. You don't want to use anything that's like raised bed mix. You don't want to use any planting soil or things that are made to go in ground. You want to use something that's designed for containers that's well draining but can still retain a little bit of moisture. I'm using strawberry fields which is a little bit on the pricier side in terms of potting mix but it's a great soil for growing strawberries. And that's exactly what I'm doing in this case. It also is made with coconut core, which allows it to soak up moisture in between when it dries out a little bit, which can be a little tricky with the green stock. If you use something that's like straight peat and that dries out, it can be really hard to hydrate. So I highly recommend adding something in that has a little bit of coconut core. So now I'm gonna lay out the green stock, fill them all up, and we'll talk about how to plant into them. When you're pouring your soil into the actual green stock, try to rough it up a little bit first because I just noticed that it's coming out in like brick-like chunks. And that's probably not going to do a very good job at distributing water. So I'm going to go ahead and break up this one since I forgot to do it at the beginning. But for the rest of them, I'm going to rough it up a little bit to make it easier. The other thing to mention is that at the top of the green stock, it actually tells you that you want to fill soil to the top. So when we're filling this, you don't want to just fill it like down an inch or two below the surface. You want to go right up to the brim. With the five tier green stock, it should take about one cubic foot per tier. So in this case, I have five tiers, which means five cubic feet. Each one of these bags is 1.5. So I'm going to use a little bit less than four bags of soil here. Now we have the basic soil filled in, and at this point, I'm going to take the chance to amend it because once I set this up finally, I'm not gonna to wanna to mess around with it probably ever again. So I'm gonna go in with some of this Espoma Berry Tone. This is a great fertilizer if you're growing things like strawberries, any type of berry like blackberries. You can tell this bag has been sitting out for quite a while here. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some along the outside but also mainly towards the middle. And that's because when you water a green stock, most of the water comes down in this middle section where the watering ring is. So if we wanna make sure that the actual fertilizer breaks down over time and distributes, then we wanna make sure we put some of it towards the edges. Next up, I'm going to be putting some of this warm gold in here because it has kelp meal, also has rock dust and worm castings, of course, and all of that stuff contains all the little micronutrients that might just be missing in a potting soil. And this I just treat as basically an insurance policy. You can't really put too much. Usually, well, I guess you can if you put over 20% warm castings instead of soil, that's probably gonna be too much. But just in general, you could be pretty aggressive with this stuff. It's not like a heavy fertilizer. Now we have all the soil filled just about to the top of each one of these. They've been amended with some berry mix and a little bit of worm castings. And we could finally plant the strawberries. So a few weeks ago, I actually got my bare root strawberry order in. And what I have is just the bucket here with a bunch of vermiculite to keep the roots damp. Go ahead and pull out this clump of roots here. And that's our bare root strawberry pile. So I have seascape strawberries here. They are a day neutral variety meaning that they will produce berries throughout the year instead of just in the summertime or early spring. In San Diego, I could grow these day neutral varieties and get berries almost the entire year. So that's why I went with this selection here. And I've had seascapes before at Kevin's house and they are quite delicious. So now let's talk a little bit about how a strawberry berry root works. You have the top here, which is called the crown. That's where the leaves come up and actually form the strawberry plant. Then at the base, of course, are all the roots, and they're actually generally quite long, which is great, because that means that there's a lot of roots already established, 
and the growth is going to be very easy. So now let's go ahead and put this strawberry plant into this pocket right here. Now remember, there's going to be another tier on top of this, but for now we're going to plant one tier, start setting it up and build our way up. So when you're thinking of the green stock, you don't want to plant it over here because that's going to be squished by the next tier. You want to kind of go close to the edge. So I'm going to aim for it to be just like this. And to get the root spread the way I want it, I'm going to go in like this with my hand and make a sort of cavity. This allows me to spread the roots out a little bit and actually fold them into the soil so they're at some certain depth instead of just sitting on the surface here. And then what I could do is heal that in and there we go. We have a planted bare root strawberry. So now I'm going to finish up this tier and we'll move over to the location where the green stock's going to be. And then I'll show you how I build this up as it gets to that top fifth tier. Now that I have this tier planted out, you could see that I use some of this soil to help fill it back up. So I'm going to go ahead and take another handful here, make sure that I have this nice and filled out. And then what I'm going to do is bring this over to the location where it's going to live for the rest of this year. Ugh. Here's the location of the green stock. This is where it's going to be for the foreseeable future. Down here, I have the little spinny base that you could get with the green stock. So I'm gonna place these little feet in between these fins here. Let's see. There we go. So now it's very securely locked in place. I could spin it so that I could capture the sun throughout the season. And now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the second base and we'll keep planting strawberries and building it up. All right, so here's the second tier. And one thing that I should mention is that right here, this is the water distribution ring. So the water will come down through, hit this and water my strawberries. So I'm gonna make sure that the little holes in there are lined up with my plants. And the reason we're doing this in sections, let's see if I can get this on right, is that if I were to stack it all at the very beginning and then try to plant strawberries, it'd be really annoying to have to try to get in there. Now, of course, once the season progresses and if you wanna swap plants out, that's gonna be what you have to do. But at this point, I can make my life easy and just plant it as I stack up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, get all these strawberries in. We'll talk about how to water it and how to care for this after that. Just like the other one before, as I actually plant these out, I wanna make sure that I'm topping the soil back off so that the water distribution works as intended. The dream is finally here. I have a vertical tower full of bare root strawberries. Each one of these holds six. So now I have 30 strawberry plants in something that's like less than two square feet in terms of how much space it's taking up down here. Now, of course, all of this is made up for with the height. And the nice thing about the spinner base, the way that I use it, is that every time I remember, I'm not really that intense about it, but maybe every other day, I'll come through, and I'll give this a half spin. The idea behind that is that right now, afternoon sun is only gonna be hitting this side. If I leave it like this at all times, this section back here probably won't grow very well. So that's the nice thing about the spinner is it lets you move it around, get the light distributed through. Now the final thing to do is add this watering reservoir, which just sits up top. I'm gonna go ahead and clip that in. Now the reservoir is attached and I could go ahead and water this in. And really when it comes to strawberries though, you wanna be careful that you're not overwatering, especially with the bare roots. They can rot if they get too wet. And actually I think Greenstock even has some sort of suggestions on different soil mixes you could use for strawberries because you don't want it to be too heavy. That's why I didn't add anything like compost because if I got that too wet early on, it would probably rot the strawberries away. So instead what I'll do right now is I'll fill it exactly how they recommend, which is taking my hose, filling the top basin until it hits the top line and letting the water distribute through. But that's it for this. The green stock is now fully planted. Come summer, you know there's going to be some updates. I'm gonna be doing pruning of the runners. And also, come July, I hope to be doing some harvesting. But hopefully this was helpful for you guys on how to set up a vertical tower and how to plant bare root strawberries.